dad goes on business trips to Pennsylvania um, every year, so most of the time. And so he takes us out, but not all at the same time. So in 2016, it was my turn. So I went up and oh, we met, we met uh, my dad's parents at um, the library that we used to go to when I lived in Ohio, and then they took me home. On the way back, um, I had the kid's iPod that has all the games on it. So, um, Thomas is my uncle, my dad's brother, youngest brother. And so we had an epic skating competition. I obviously lost. He's really good at it. And so, um, we did that. So I challenged him to Harry Potter trivia. I won that one because he doesn't really know anything about Harry Potter. So after we got back to the house, I went upstairs and I kind of got a little nervous because I hadn't been there before without my parents. And so I was on the bed playing games and then um, Grandpa Chuchu comes up and um, he asks, hey, do you want to go find glowworms in the yard tonight? And I'm like, what are glowworms? And he explained that they were little worms because it had been raining a lot. They're little worms and they they come out of the ground like normal worms, but then if you get too close, they don't glow. But if you stand back, then it's a whole like uh, glowing pathway and it looks really cool. So um, at 10 o'clock-ish that evening, um, we went outside and we looked at the glowworms and they have a whole stone path leading up to their beehives and everything. And so we just stood on the porch and sat in the rocking chairs and we could just see the whole pathway just glow. It looked awesome. So I could go to sleep that night because it I could remember it. And so um, then the next day, we, let's see, we um, went to a pumpkin store and we um, got pumpkins for jack-o'-lantern carving because it was October. And so I got to carve my own pumpkin. And so we took the seeds and some seeds are edible. So we cooked them and stuck salt on them and they were really, really good. It was probably the best meal I had ever had. Well, I guess it was a side. And so, we also, um, that day we went to a chocolate shop. It, and it was like a bunch of chocolate and like mint chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, any kind of chocolate you could imagine. And so we got some and then we ate it without dad. It was really good. <laughs> and, um, then the next day, so on Wednesday, let's say, we went to the cider mill, because we always go there when one of us is up there. And so we got to see the apples being pressed, we got to pick the apples, we got to see the cider coming out, and then we got to take two jugs of cider home. That was also very delicious. And... Also that day, we um, went hiking up in the mountains. It was at, um, it was in Rimrock. Was it at or in? Okay. It was um, in Rimrock, and we would, we tried to find bears in the caves, because there are little rock caves up there, and there are some that you can even go through, and there are stairs that are carved out, and the the um, view is amazing. It is the best view I've ever seen. So we did that and then we had to take a picture and I almost fell off the rim rock um, thing by the stairs. We, um, I was taking a picture with Uncle Thomas and I almost, I was sitting on the ledge until we took the picture and I almost fell backwards. I would have died. But I didn't, and that was awesome. The end. Sharon, those five minutes.